our series Weight Loss Revolution. All week we've looked at medications like Ozempic and Wagovi addressing side effects and the costs. And this morning, Becky Worley takes a look at what happens when you stop taking the drugs. Oh. Oh. It's a weight loss movement that has millions shedding pounds. Ozempic and Manjaro belong to a class of drugs originally developed to treat diabetes, but now many turning to social media to praise the drugs for weight loss. And that includes Teresa Shepard of Tampa, Florida, who took compounded semaglutide, an off-brand version of these drugs that's available at some pharmacies. I was on it about like seven to eight months and I lost 90 pounds. After about eight months, Teresa says she decided to stop when she reached her weight goal. But a 2002 NIH study says once patients go off the medication, their average weight gain rebound is about two thirds of the total weight that they lost. Trying to stop a medicine like this can result in weight regain and an increase in appetite. And Dr. Louis Aroni of Weill Cornell says, no mystery here, that's how most medication works. No one should be surprised by that. That's exactly what we would expect would happen if you stopped a blood pressure medicine. Your blood pressure would go up. One other issue for those who saw significant weight loss on the drugs is a loss of muscle mass. While it's comparable with traditional diets, the speed of weight loss on drugs like Ozempic and Wegovy can be an issue. We don't recommend that people lose weight too rapidly. Rapid weight loss has been shown to cause excess muscle mass loss. Experiences vary, but for Teresa, she's been off the medication for two months and says that she's holding her weight. It fluctuates normal up, down five pounds, but I haven't gained any weight or anything like that. So it's been a good experience since I've, been, since I've come off. But even people who regain weight may see health benefits. And to buck the trend of rebound weight gain, Teresa says she's adopted much healthier habits. I started working out at least five days a week. You have to be mindful of staying with what you've done and not slipping back into old habits for sure. But absolutely, people can get off of it. And I wouldn't be scared to get off of it. For Good Morning America, Becky Worley, ABC News, Oakland, California. All right, our thanks to Becky Worley for that. Doctors also tell us this type of rapid weight loss can cause a decline in muscle mass, which is a major factor when it comes to keeping the weight off. So if you are taking these drugs or you're thinking about taking them, talk to your doctor about keeping up your strength training and protein consumption. And of course, we have our own doctor, our wonderful Dr. Jen Ashton, our medical correspondent here to break this all down. You are managing patients yeah. who are on these medications right now. So talk about that concern what do people need to know when they get off these drugs well first of all because I'm board certified in obesity medicine and I think this is getting kind of a bad rap in our lay public because people think it's a trend or it's a fad we've known that this class of medication as along with other FDA approved weight loss medications has worked very very well and it's been used off-label for almost a decade if not longer as we heard in the piece by Dr. Louis Aroni, this is not candy, this is not like treating strep throat. So when people come off a medication that they need to treat a chronic condition, which the conditions of overweight and obesity are, of course, rebound weight gain is possible if not likely. So while this isn't a, a standard algorithm or protocol, if you will, for doctors managing patients like this, what we'll often say is, let's try to get you to your target healthy goal weight and then basic principle of pharmacology. The best dose is the lowest dose of the medication that works. And if you need to drop the dose and then expand the frequency to taking it maybe once a month, once every other week, the key is keeping you at that healthy weight in the safest, most efficacious way we can do it. Almost like touch-ups. How long yeah. should someone expect to be on the drug in the first place? Well, remember, these conditions are chronic, so potentially in some way, shape, or form indefinitely, but we know that the phenomenon is set in the brain to restore your weight to its heaviest level. So this is not a matter of willpower. It's not a matter mm. of eating less and moving more. Behavior is always important, but you have to let the pharmacology work. Such important points. Always a pleasure, Dr. Jen Ashton. Thanks so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.